I want to talk to you today about the importance of having a team when you run a real estate investing business. And what does that team look like? I just noticed I look like I have one of those beanie caps on my head with the fan going around, right? Crazy, but there it is. So the importance of having a team. When you first start out in your real estate investing business, it might just be you. But you're still going to have to have a team. So even if you just want to do a, a house or two alongside your current job, which is how most people get started, you're going to have to have a team. You're going to have to have home inspectors to help you look at the home. You're going to have to have lawyers or a title company to review your paper, make sure it's all done right. Right? They want to check the title on the, on the property. And there's documents to get together. You're going to have to have an insurance agent. That's going to be an important part of your team too. And these are all people that will help you. You're going to have to have a private lender or a mortgage or a hard money lender. These are all parts of your team and then once you start down the line right once you dust down the line of, of the of the house you're going to have to have uh, you may have to have architects right you may have to have people that do drawings for you you may have to have contractors and that's that's i could spend an hour talking about all the different contractors you need but just quickly you might need a general contractor to run the job for you. You might need flooring contractors, painting contractors, chimney contractors, sewer contractors, septic contractors, uh, you know, foundation contractors, uh, HVAC contractors, and on and on and on. Every area of the house probably has somebody that specializes in that area. So it's important you have that part of the team. And then when you get through there, well, what's the next thing you have to do? Well, then... You have to start selling the house. You have to get it ready. So you want to have a team that helps clean the house and get it prepared. You have to have a landscaping team to get the outside of the house looking good, right? So it looks good. If you stage the house, you're going to have to have a staging crew that comes in. These are all people that are part of your team. You're going to have to have, probably I'm going to recommend having a real estate agent help you sell the property. You're going to get the most money for it if you use an agent and they'll help you list it. Then you'll have to have a lawyer or a title company, probably the same one, to help you close that property. And your bank is part of your team. You have to cash the check, right? Then you have to have an accountant, right, that helps you do all the paperwork and get make sure that you have, and make sure you have the best tax accountant. Spend money, don't go to H&R and Block and don't try and do it yourself. Get the right accountant because they will help you put money in your pocket. So I'm sure I missed a lot of potential team members in that description, but there's a lot of people on your team, even if you do it alone, because you can't do everything yourself unless you're a lawyer and a contractor and a plumbing contractor. And if you do landscaping and all the things you think you're going to do yourself, you're going to have to have a team. So one of the important things that Amber and I learned early on, we decided to do our first two flips, our first three flips ourselves. We thought we'd make all the money. And we went to Home Depot and we bought these big um, black cases and we put all, they were like, they fit in the back of my pickup truck and, or the SUV and we put all of our tools, we put all kinds of new tools and we were going to be contractors because we were going to save a lot of money. Ugh, talk about learning the hard way. Not only has my back been damaged uh, 15 years ago by putting a kitchen sink, you ever try and put a, a hook up a sink under a counter? It's the most awkward position in the world and I pop something in my lower back. Never been right ever since, so I've been paying the price for that. But you'll pay the price in so many ways. You'll take longer to do the job, and you'll eat up any potential profit you think you made with holding costs, right? Now, we've done other videos talking about holding costs, but it costs money every day you hold a house. And so having team members that can do a job efficiently and fast and good so it passes inspection that's important. I remember the first two houses, we were doing the work ourselves. I was calling friends over and they, they came whenever they could to help me, you know, do that part of the job. If I was cutting a railing, I never had to learn how to cu uh, cut crown molding. That's an interesting skill to learn. That took me forever. I bet it took me 10 times as long to cut crown molding on cabinets as a professional would have taken. So did I save money? No. And I mean, I may have learned a skill, but it's not a skill that pays a lot of money. What you want to think about your team is this. Remember, if you have a very good real estate team behind you, you can spend your time doing what you get paid the most for. You know what that is? Looking for deals. The more deals you find, the more things you can do with them. So if you find two deals a month, you might wholesale one, you might wholesale two of them. And every two months, maybe if you find two deals a month, maybe you wholesale one, every every three months you renovate one. Whatever. Maybe you turn one into a rental. But your job is to find property because finding property, negotiating prices is your best use of your time. It's where you get paid the most per hour. Let other people do what they do best and help you build your business. Now, as you grow and get to a size where you start to need employees, that's a different level of teamwork. You might need an assistant. 
might be a virtual assistant. It might be someone that actually comes to an office or your home, like we had our very first assistant, and does work for you, you know, 10, 20, 30 hours a week. They might do book work for you or bookkeeping. They might help you out with getting permits or managing contractors, taking pictures of jobs. And all the things I'm talking about are things that you don't maybe think about when you're first starting as a real estate investor. But all these people become part of your team. So you wanna find people that are good at what they do. You know, you don't want them to gouge you with high prices, right? We, we teach our students how to negotiate to keep the prices as low as you can, let people know you're gonna be a repeat customer and you want wholesale pricing and all that kind of stuff. But as you build your team out, you'll find that you can do more work and you can have more free time because if you wanna be an entrepreneur, don't you want freedom? So you're gonna have more freedom. You'll be managing those people and managing those team members and the better the team member, the less management you'll actually have to do. And so once you get that team put together, you'll find you'll be able to do more business and you'll be able to spend more time finding more deals, which is where you make the most money. So teamwork is crucial, not only to doing volume, but even when you're starting, you have to have the right members on your team because you will not know everything. So don't think you're saving money if you don't build a team, because I promise you, you're probably spending more money by not having a team. And you may wind up with a bad back like I have 15 years ago because I thought I was saving 50 bucks by not having a plumber come over and do it himself. But I knew better, right? So take it from my, my experience. Take it from Amber's experience too. Get the right team. Build the right team. And you spend your time looking for deals to keep your team busy. And you look back one day and say, oh my gosh, look what I have built. But you didn't build it alone. You built it with your team. I hope that helps.